Hi everyone, my name is M, and today we are going to be talking about something a little personal for me. Um, is college worth it? And the story of how I almost dropped out of college. So let's get into it. A little bit of background, I was very, very hesitant to make this my first comeback video onto YouTube, but I knew that my revamped YouTube channel, I wanted it to be personal, I wanted it to be very indicative of a girl in college, of a computer science major, of someone who regularly feels imposter syndrome, and I didn't want to put out content that wasn't quality. So we're just gonna dive right into one of the darkest moments of my college career. So, let's start from the beginning. I was a sophomore in college. I was in my fall semester. I was taking all of the weed out classes for my major in computer science. Um, I took on way too many leadership responsibilities in all these different organizations I was in. I gone to my first, like, I ugh, I got into my first um, serious relationship in college. I was focusing so much on the goals of becoming a leader in my campus, on becoming academically successful, on like bagging that job and having a great life that I wasn't taking care of myself. I was mentally drained all the time. I would stay in bed. I would, oh God, how do I say this? How do I put this lightly? Basically, I like didn't care for my personal well-being at all and I just treated my body, my mental health, my emotions like shit. There were, I think, maybe three out of the five days of my academic week, I would skip my classes. I would lay in bed until 1 p.m. doing nothing but either sitting on my phone or staring at the ceiling crying for reasons I still don't remember why. I started to block myself off from close friendships that I had garnered over freshman year. I was not treating myself the way I should have been treating myself, basically. And all of this together really affected my grades. By the end of the semester, I remember coming home, I was sitting down in my room and I checked like the final grade report on Buzzport, which is like my school's like grade system. Um, and I just started crying. I hadn't passed two of these major classes for my course. I had to drop out of one because it was too much for me to handle. And I felt like my world was over. I was a high achiever throughout all of high school, graduated top five in my class. All the people I surrounded myself with in college and high school were all high achievers. This was not anything I could have ever imagined I would ever do in my life. And I just remember breaking down and, oh God, I'm gonna start crying. And I like ran out and just like, my mom was just like, are you okay? And I just like collapsed in her arms. And I sat there just like bawling and bawling and bawling for such a long time. Whew. Okay, let me like pull myself together for a second really quick. Okay, cool. Um, I really am so lucky that I had the people in my life that I did. Was that English? I'm not sure. But my mom and my dad were both like, it's okay, whatever happened, happened. If you need to go to community college and like take a semester off, let's like let us know. We're here, we're here to support you. Oh my god, my parents are the best. Honestly, like I feel like I should have opened up more to my friends at the time because they were the ones who were really grinding it out with me and they knew the most of what I was going through, but I just was not mentally or emotionally capable to really share that with them yet. But it's fine. I eventually shared it with them. Um, regardless, after this mental breakdown, I had my heart set of dropping out. Yes, my emotions were running high, I jumped to conclusions a lot, but I logically thought out all of these, the options and the resources that I had available to me. First, I was a computer science major. Um, I did this Google CSSI program right out of high school where they taught me Python, and when I went into my first semester of college, I already knew basically two thirds of that course that, and I learned everything in the span of two weeks. This kind of like proved to me in my mind that I didn't need to go through four years of this degree just to learn how to code. Um, the summer previously, I had interned and all the stuff that I had learned in my first year and 
the first two weeks of that summer at the Google program, I was able to create everything I needed for my intern project and ship a product for a major tech company. I was asking myself why was I tearing myself down physically, mentally, emotionally for four years to like become a software engineer when there are all these boot camps that do that for you in six weeks. Basically the day after I had this mental breakdown in front of my family, after seeing my grades, I decided I was going to drop out, I was going to do a boot camp, and I was going to move out to San Francisco and try my luck at a startup or some tech company that was going to take a software engineer with no bachelor's degree and only a boot camp certification, which they exist, they really do. I started talking this out with my ex now, boyfriend at the time, and even though he was very supportive of me of like whatever I decided to do, he reminded me that college is a lot more than just the academic. College is a lot more than what you learn in classrooms. And that really has resonated with me and is the only reason why I'm still in college today. Like I am 99 days away from graduation. Thank freaking God. For example, if I had dropped out, I would have never gotten the opportunity to lead organizations on my campus as president, as an executive board member. Experiences which have definitely molded who I am today and helped me understand how to manage people, how to work with people, how to lead a team, how to how they handle conflict management. If I had dropped out of college, I would have never met all the amazing people that I have met in college. I've met crazy people who are probably going to be CEOs of companies and run for office and and build really cool stuff in the future that's going to change society. So yes, after I had this conversation about why college is more than just a degree in the academics, I ultimately decided to stay in college. I was like, I'll give it one more chance. I will take an easier semester. I will focus more on loving myself, of seeking help when I need help, of communicating when I need help, and I'm still here. The advice I leave to you if you're going through a tough time, if you're actually debating whether you should want to stay in college or not and if it's worth it, I'm not going to tell you to do exactly what I did. I'm not telling you anything. I want you to take away what you want from this video and make your own decision. My advice is to carefully weigh out all of your options. What do you have going for you if you don't stay in college? What resources do you have available to you? Do you have connections that can help you? And remember that the people that you have around you, people that care about you, yes, it can get annoying listening to them rant at you and yell at you, scream at you about the decisions you're making, given that they're like healthy relationships and all, because, you know, there are toxic relationships out there. Sometimes they might see something about yourself that you don't even realize and that's definitely still important for you to take into consideration. And at the end of it, if you see that dropping out of college and doing your own thing is going to benefit you in the long run, go for it. Okay, that was an emotional roller coaster for me, but I really and truly hope that you got something meaningful out of this video and that you will like, comment, and subscribe. But before I go away, I'm going to talk a little bit about the direction my channel is going into. So, one of my true passions is mentoring others and helping others through tough times, and that's what I want to do with my channel. And basically create content that I know I would have wanted to watch as a younger version of myself. So, if you guys have any ideas or things in regards to college, things you want to see about being a woman in tech, things about computer science and what is this major like, or internships, anything, literally. Um, I was thinking about encasing myself in jello the other week. So um, if you have any ideas, drop them below, DM me, just let me know. And yes, thank you for watching. Peace out, and I'm definitely going to have a next video up soon. Bye.